All right, today I'm gonna answer a question that I get so much on all my social media platforms, which by the way, I am on TikTok as well as Instagram and then obviously YouTube. The links for TikTok and Instagram are definitely below. I also have my private support coaching group um, that is for like-minded people where everybody supports each other in manifesting their SP back or really anything else that they want. So all the info is down below, but I wanna answer one of the most common questions that I get especially on TikTok. So if you're new to Law of Assumption, if you're new to manifesting your ex back or SP, or even if you've been here for a minute and you feel like your mind is playing tricks on you, you are struggling with resistance, you're struggling with really buying into and believing that you can have this version of your SP and this version of this amazing relationship, I have the fucking answer for you. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hey everyone, I am Kim Velez. I am a conscious life and success coach and I am so fucking happy to be here with you today. And if you are someone who is ready to bust through their old program that is not their truth and create and choose programming that is their truth, which hint here that you're amazing, deserving, worthy, and can have whatever the fuck you want, then you are in the right place, my friends. Okay, so one of the most common questions or comments that I get all over social media is this, is Kim, I feel delusional. How do I know that I'm not wasting time by focusing on this version of this SP? So I'm gonna explain it to you how I understand this and what has helped me when I was in that stage because I have well removed myself and worked through and passed through that stage quite a, many, many years ago. This also helps with the needing the urgency of what it is that you desire to show up in your reality right now and helps move you into more of a relaxed state knowing and trusting that you got this shit in the bag, okay? Because that is, that's being on top of the world. That's knowing your fucking power. You, that is the place you really want to work to get to because that is, oof, that shit is bomb as fuck, okay? That shit is like, I got this, not even worry, boo. What I want is coming and you just know it. And it, that's just the beautiful, peaceful place to be. So, this is what typically happens. So when people feel delusional, it's only because of this, because two things, right? One is you haven't experienced this reality enough for you to accept it as your truth. And then the other reason is your self-concept doesn't match that reality. So this is why you're reprogramming your mind. See, I go deeper than just manifesting. Manifesting is fucking easy. It's keeping it, being the version of you that is living in the reality where you have the life of your fucking dreams. You have your SP, you have the physique that you desire, you have the money in your bank account you desire, you're living your purpose, you're having fun in your life, you're traveling, you're surrounded with luxury, whatever it is that you want. This is how you're gonna get it and this is where you keep it and sustain it and build up your self-confidence and being a powerful fucking manifester, okay? So we have to look at this. You have to look at this in two ways. One is I haven't accepted this version of my reality of having SP come in on point, amazing, and really like madly, obsessively, head over heels in love with me, right? because I haven't experienced it dominantly. Or even if I did somewhere in the past, I've had a lot of more of the, ver if that even made sense, you had more of the version and experience the reality where they weren't on point. So this is what a lot of people go through because you have to understand, like think of things in your life where you didn't necessarily experience, but somebody told you that you could have it and you were like, well, yeah, I can. And you just easily accepted that as your truth. Like, I'll give you an example. I always use this as an example because a lot of people have really high self-concept when it comes to other areas of their life. And usually the clients that I end up working with, which has been thousands of you guys at this point, I'm so fucking grateful for that and get to see the life changing results that you all are getting, which just fucking makes me jump up with joy is you're not, when it comes to your love life, it's changing your story of who you are and understanding that you need to start accepting this as your truth, that no, you can have this, even if you've never had it. So that's why most people don't easily accept it 
Um, so I know for me, like it was very easy for me to accept that whatever career choice, cause it's like my third career, right? That I will be successful in because I know that that just makes sense to me. That was easy for me to accept, even if I hadn't been successful in the new career, right? I started out as an accountant at an investment firm. Then I decided that wasn't what I was supposed to do. It was very soul crushing for me. No offense to anybody who's doing it, but it was not a good fit for me that I moved into becoming a licensed mental health therapist, working for a world renowned agency, um, was super excited in the beginning of that, realized this was not for me as well, you know, long term or lifetime term, like doing this till I died, right? And then I had to figure out, okay, I'll go into private practice for myself, did that as a therapist, and then knew I'm meant for something different at this point. So that's how I became an online coach and really diving in deeper of what has really helped me and how can I help people in a different way other than just doing therapy, right? So all of those were easy for me to accept as truth. Anytime I did it, even though I had no experience in these new fields, doing these new things, I had never been a business owner, you know, until I went into private practice for myself, but I knew, I don't know, somehow, some way I'm going to succeed because this is who I am. See, I was easily accepting that for me, okay? When it comes to a specific person, I had to really face my self-concept and nobody was really teaching it when I was on this journey. And this is why I teach it so much. And now I see a lot of other people really jumping on that bandwagon. And that makes me fucking happy because I just want the truth out for everybody. I don't care who you learn it from, as long as you understand the truth and the power of your self-concept and why it matters so much. So I, it, it's hard for people to accept that this person can see them a certain way because you haven't experienced them seeing you that way and you don't see yourself that way in relation to them. So this is why it feels delusional in the beginning, just because you haven't, you're not dominantly accepting that as your reality. You haven't lived that version of yourself long enough to feel love, cherished, valued, and wanted and fucking good enough to have the love life relationship of your fucking dreams, okay? Whether it's a specific person, an ex, or somebody fucking new, it doesn't matter, it all applies. So this is why it's harder for people to kind of swallow that, right? To accept that as their truth, and that's why they feel delusional. So the solution, because you know I'm all about the solution, which by the way, I have two amazing courses that I have recently updated, how to manifest your SP back and keep them for good, as well as my You Are the Prize, all about your self-concept and love. I also have some other amazing courses too. You can definitely check out, the links are below. So that's what this game is about. It's about creating a new story of you, which is basically your self-concept, which is your self-identity. And the old man, the old you, is only familiar with who you've been. Even if you want to be someone different, moving you into the wish fulfilled, your brain is only familiar with the old you. And that's where it's comfortable. So this is why the reprogramming is necessary and important. And this is why you feel like you're delusional. You feel worried that, oh my God, I'm investing all this time into focusing my mind on a specific person, but what if it doesn't work? Well, I'm gonna tell you this, I would change the mindset and I would understand that I'm so powerful that I've already affirmed a gazillion times for them. Now, maybe I just need to focus on me and how I wanna feel in a relationship. Because you've already put everything out there that you want. The only reason why it hasn't um, manifested in typically is because you're still dominantly feeling delusional. You still haven't accepted that, that this is definitely happening. Like you know it to be true. You're not even worried because your self-concept is not on fucking point. See, your self-concept is how you see yourself. So if you actually believed and felt good enough and worthy and understood like, oh, I deserve everything I've been affirming and then some, like that's just the bare fucking minimum. I don't care if you wrote out, you know, the best relationship of your life, you could still even get better than you can even imagine, right? Because it's how powerful you are. So from that person. I'm not saying the saying where they're like, oh, this or someone better. No, you want this relationship that you're focusing on or fucking better, right? Like I'm always about, give me more of what I want. I'm good with that. So because you haven't focused on your self-concept and you know this is who you are and you embody that confident, magnetic, radiant, you know, worthy, fucking deserving goddess that you are and God that you are, 
it's hard for you to accept that this person will want to give you this, that you're able to manifest someone showing up for you this way. So it isn't that you're focusing on them to change them, as I say a million trillion times, you're focusing on to change you, to change your story of how you see yourself. And when you really get to embody that, it's very easy for you to understand, well, now I don't feel delusional because I know because of who I am. So your self-concept needs to be in the wish fulfilled version of you, which is your love wants a chosen and cherish, and you're in the committed relationship of your dreams. And this is every day you wake up and you are having this experience and this is how your life is. And you haven't created that yet, some of you, right? So that's fine. But I want you to understand this is what's happening of why you feel delusional. So it isn't about them. It's about you. They're only mirroring back to you what's going on with you. So... The more you persist in your self-concept, the more you embody the version of you and the wish fulfilled, the version of you that is being loved, wanted, chosen, who's waking up next to her person or his person every day, fucking head over heels in love, knowing they feel the same way, the version of you that feels loved, spoiled, valued, and cherished, that version of you, when that starts, you start to dwell internally in that world more than this world where you're noticing they're not here and I feel rejected and unloved, then guess what, my loves? You will become less and less feeling delusional. You actually start to believe it as fact. Um, and this is the power. Oof, I love when I get to that place with anything I'm manifesting. Um, and it, it's, it frees you and unchains you from the old reality, the old self-concept that manifested all the shitty circumstances in your love life. And that's what this whole game is about. This is why doing all this stuff is the fucking game changer because at the end of the day, it's your mind that's creating your experience and your reality. And you need to keep redirecting your thoughts until you are so fucking possessed, as Neville says, by affirming and in embodying this reality, this version of you that has everything that they want, that it's not even a fucking question. It doesn't feel delusional. It feels fucking, that's what Neville talks about when it's feeling it real. It's not that you have to have this elated emotion all the time because when we are with someone, we don't have elated emotion all the time. It's understanding that you've convinced yourself so much that I got this, this is mine. I, there's just no doubt in my mind. We do this with certain goals, right? If we know there's something we want in our life, there's things, and think of this for yourself when you just knew it to be true. You didn't need evidence in your reality. You didn't fucking need somebody to confirm it for you. You knew you were going to have this experience and this is what it was going to be. And at some point it manifested in. So that's what feeling it real is to me. That's how I interpret it. It's, I know I got this. It doesn't feel delusional. It doesn't feel like, you know, oh my God, I don't even know how this could happen. This is insane. Like they, there's no way. No, because you have to train your mind to move into the reality over and over again until you are fucking immersed in it. And you're just like, wrapped up in it and you just know, oh, I got this in the bag. And the shortcut version of that is that you understand how amazing and magnificent and worthy and deserving you are. So you don't question that somebody would want to give you what you desire because of who the fuck you are.